Give gratitude for your ancestors for keeping you alive all the way up to this point. Because whether or not you guys realize this or not, your ancestors are the ones who have been keeping you alive up to this point that has gotten you to this space. Some of you guys were fortunate enough to even get on your path. You should have your ancestor altar and you should be giving reverence to your ancestors. You don't disrespect your ancestors. You give reverence to them. Give reverence to your native indigenous ancestors. If it wasn't for them, y'all would not be here right now. There are some people that I've been coming across here as of late where their kundalini has been activating. So let me put you up on game for those of you who have not been through this experience. I want to put you up on game so you guys know what to look for and what you have to protect yourself from. When your kundalini awakens, what you're going to notice is when you walk through the house, all your lights cutting off and on. And I don't mean like quick, I'm talking about them shits is just coming on like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to cut on the day. And you're walking through the house and everywhere through the house, your lights are just cutting on everywhere you go throughout the damn house. That's you activating that God power within you. You also have to keep in mind of the dark energy. There's over 200 million fallen angels that have now risen up onto the surface of the planet. These fallen angels operate with what you call dark energy. The dark energy is going to feel heavy to you. How do you get rid of the dark energy? Salt baths or go to the ocean or go to the river. If you don't have access to a natural water source, go get some sea salt and take a salt bath and you're going to take the salt bath until you feel light as a feather. So you may have to do it a couple nights, but you're going to take a salt bath. You can pour some in a bucket, some salt in the bucket, some water and just wash yourself, your hair and everything with the salt and just cleanse yourself off. Okay, salt, salt baths are the number one cleansers of witchcraft, magic, and dark energy. Salt bath, this is shit you can do on your own. Do you know anything about the Anunnaki final word into earth? Well, let me just say this one thing. I got some good news for y'all. So you're gonna expect communication from the Anunnaki. Now you still have some that are still very, there. you have some, not all, not a bunch, but you still have a few in smaller sectors due to the choice of free will that are activating very negatively. One being Shanak. Shanak is a sage. He's an Anunnaki, but he's a very powerful sage. Extremely powerful, not to be played with. I mean, when I say powerful, I mean extremely powerful. This particular being has been responsible for a lot of the shit that we've been dealing with as far as the indigenous peoples. We've been dealing with that because of him. Because of the type of power that he wills to keep us in a certain state of mind. And the types of beings that he teamed up with with people that don't look like you. Okay? His name is Shanak. Ego death is when a part of your ego starts dying off that no longer serves a purpose for where you're going. It means that you've already graduated past some parts, and so you go through the ego death process. I went through one that was rough um, the whole summer. I went through ego death the whole summer. And I'm out of it now, but that was a little rough because you, 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 Certain ideologies and certain ways that you used to think, you start realizing this shit don't serve a purpose anymore and then it just really starts dying off and you get emotional. You're gonna to wanna to cry. You're gonna get super emotional. Sometimes the ego death can last a month, sometimes the last three months, sometimes the last six months. There's no telling how long an ego death lasts. I know mine lasted about four, four or five months. Whereas the divine feminine energy continues to pour down upon the planet, the men are going to are starting to feel like they don't have a place anymore in their divine masculine, which is totally not true. That's not true. What's happening is, is that the patriarchy is being removed and the matriarchy is restoring itself. That's all that it is that's going on. Now, I know that some of y'all have a problem with this and have a problem with that, but you guys got to understand that things have been out of balance for a very long time. And just so you know, those corrections are being made in the cosmos. So, so above, so below. So above, so below. This is the reason why now you hear me speaking about the most high, meaning the mother, because you've never heard me speak about her like that, the way I'm speaking about her now, because this is her time to be known. This is her time to be known now. And, and, for, and, for, and for all the sons, the men out here, the sons, there's no need for y'all to be insecure of that. 
What you need to do if you have a problem with it is you need to go heal the relationship that you have with your mama. And ladies, you need to go heal the relationship that you have with your father or heal from the trauma. But when you hear me speak about the Most High, you're always going to hear me address mother and father. Because they kept that information hidden from you. Because see, if you were to admit that, then that means that you would also have to admit that you have to acknowledge and exalt the woman, which a lot of men do not like to do. But you have to, you have to give reverence to the life bringer because you wouldn't exist without her. And she came first after source. She came first. Then Olubumari came second. Then his son, then their son Olofan came third, who is considered to be the second God. Because mother and father are two halves of the whole. The real Holy Trinity. And if you really want to get technical with the shit, if you want to get extra technical with the shit, we can start with source, mother, father, son. We can start there if you want to get extra technical with the shit. Because source is infinite. All source does is continue to create an experience. But I want to make sure you guys are clear for those who have a problem with it. I'm going to continue to keep speaking about mama. And there's a lot of niggas out here that are very disrespectful to divine feminine energy and got the nerve to utter out your mouth, big mama. Well, you have no respect for her daughters, therefore you do not have respect for her. I'm gonna deliver a message to you from her. It's time for y'all to start getting real. Be honest about your feelings and how you really feel. Because she sees through it all. She sees how you talk to your mother. She sees how you talk to your girlfriend. She sees how you talk to your wife behind closed doors. She sees how you disrespect women out here on the streets. She sees it. She sees how you went out here and disrespected other women out here on social media. So before you fix your mouth to mention anything about Big Mama, make sure you're clear about what she stands for. And that type of foolishness and that type of contradictory and that type of bullshit, she don't stand for that. And to the ladies, make sure you're clear. Before you other our father's name, make sure that you got your own relationship squared away with your daddy first. Because the way you carry yourself out here, holding yourself around, you don't even give these men out here a chance to even, you don't even challenge these men out here no more. You don't even give these dudes a challenge no more. You just, okay, I like you, fine, we're fucking today. That's y'all. Where's your standards at? Where is you honoring your divine feminine? You honoring your temple? Where's that at, ladies? Are you too busy showing it to the world? See, you didn't took on some narratives that is unbecoming of a goddess and got the nerve to call yourself a goddess. See, goddesses are high vibrational beings and they operate out of love and respect and reverence. But you gotta have first self-love and self-respect. And whatever the issues you have with your father, you need to fix them. You need to fix them. See, all this confusion is because Niggas aren't being real or true to themselves. I'm going to say it again. Niggas are not being real or true to themselves. You're not being real or true to yourself. That's why you're confused. Because you're too busy up here taking on other people's personalities. Trying to fit into some false crowd that you think is cool. Instead of you just being in a place of feeling comfortable who you are, false and all. You got to let people know, look, I'm a human being, I'm a work in progress, and every day I'm striving to become better. What you see is what you get. 
What did I tell y'all from the beginning when I first came out here on social media? I told y'all from the beginning, I'm not putting no airs from none of you niggas. Remember that? I told you this from the beginning. What you see is what you get. Now, can I evolve? Yes. And you've been watching my journey over the last three years of me evolving past certain things. So there are certain things you're not going to see me do anymore or certain things I'm not going to say anymore because that is you that is you seeing my elevation. I can't stay stuck where I was three years ago. I didn't evolve past it. And that's what you should be applauding people for when they continue to have evolution in their life. That's what you should be graduating for. That's what you should pat people on the back for and pat yourself on the back because you don't think the same way that you used to anymore. That means you graduated past a certain state of mind that no longer served a purpose for you anymore. It's okay for you to elevate and take it to another level. At the end of the day, you came into this world by yourself and when you die, you're gonna leave this world by yourself. And your journey, you're gonna have people that's gonna accompany you along the way if they fit the journey. But more often than not, you're gonna be taking that journey by yourself. You're gonna have a few friends with you along the way. People are gonna come and go out your life when you elevate. Listen, man, I dealt with a hell of a situation not too long ago. But then I jumped about six timelines after the fact because of how I handled the situation. Because I chose not to get into my ego. Because I chose not to stoop to their level. I chose not to go and go down the route that they went. They dropped down timelines, I went up six timelines. So what I'm saying to you guys is, is that when you're on this journey to healing, you must remember that who you started off with before you were healing is not who you're going to end up with as you continue to heal. And you will continue to heal. The healing won't stop. The shadow work won't stop. That's the one tool that you have that will keep the darkness away. And just because you healed in one area won't mean you won't experience trauma in another because remember, you're living your life on a daily basis, on a day-to-day -day basis. And the truth of the matter is, your life can change at the blink of an eye. And some of you guys take this shit for granted because you swear up and down there ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Shit happens to people every day, B. Every day. At the blink of an eye, your life can literally be turned upside down. You don't realize how much of a delicate balance you actually have in this life. Because you, you don't, you're not self-aware. You, you're not aware of it. But all this faking, all this, all these speakers I see out here speaking on YouTube and Instagram and different places, and I see you guys, you know, mentioning the most high, but yet when I see how you're treating people, I'm thinking, I'm going to call you out on your shit. I'm going to call you out on your shit because that's not what you really are. That's not really what you're about. So you have to watch those that like to cause division within the communities. Those would be your main ones that you need to check for. These are the people that go out here and attack other people that are on a circuit. If these people don't know each other, they don't have no relationship with one another, but they start beefs with other people. Why? Because they think of some imaginary competition that's only in their head. Jealousy, that's only in their head. Envy, that's only in their head unhealedness that they got to take care of. Um, maybe they're in a poverty state of mind that they need to heal from. Maybe they're trying to find their journey and you found yours and they're jealous because they didn't get to that point. Whatever it is, you have to be careful about following those who promote division. Period. Now, I'm going to let y'all know right now, I'm for my people now all day. I don't hide that shit. I'm for my people first. I don't hide that shit. And my people come up to me, and I'm, and I'm in the neighborhood, and my people come up to me, and they need some assistance or whatever, and let's say they may be acting out of line. Let's say they might be doing that. But if somebody that don't look like them comes in and tries to talk shit or chin check, I'm going to chin check them. I got them, those are my people.
I'll chin check them. You go sit your ass down in the fucking corner somewhere. We got us. Nobody got us. We got us. And when our people fuck up, we handle the business. We got us. We chin check us. We get our people straight. You don't allow no outsider to ever come in and think that they can talk shit about us on a whole or as a collective. I've got my people. Do you got yours? You guys also could take your crystals. Now check this shit out. Take your crystals, right? Take your crystals and get a glass of water and take your crystals and set it out in the sun and charge up your water and then drink the water and then tell me how you feel afterwards. Put positive affirmations in. That's how I activate my DNA. Literally. I drink that crystallized charged water, fam. I drink that damn water, fam. You can feel that you can feel the electricity going through your body.